top 10 worst movies of 2013. Listen, I don't think anybody's setting out to try to make a bad movie. Yes, I have I have a feeling that certain crew members, certain directors, and certainly certain stars do movies for the paycheck because you know they they want to pay their mortgage or they want to get they want to become millionaires for whatever reason. I understand that nobody's really setting out to make a really really bad film, but there's a lot to learn in these bad films because. I think that the, the attention was pure, or by somebody, the attention was pure, especially the person who originally wrote the story, uh, but it just didn't work for various reasons. So, movie 43 is not only the worst movie of 2013, it's definitely the worst movie of the last 14 years in this century. Uh, it's got every star you can imagine in it, Halle Berry, Hugh Jackman, Kate Winslet, to, to name a few, it's got Naomi Watts, Liv Schreiber. It's got mo star upon star upon star in this movie, and it's about Bass LeBon, like 43 short films. And it's a great idea, but it's so vulgar and so crass, and there's really no point to the movie whatsoever. And, you know, try to get there. The first movie you're going to see is between Kate Winslet and Hugh Jackman. You think, oh, there's some good actors, you know, sitting at a, at a restaurant. And then you'll see what the, the premise of this movie is. And I'm curious how many people can can able to watch the were able to watch this movie from beginning to end. It's it's just so so bad. And the reason why it's so so bad is because so many talented people are performing the horrificness or the it's just a really, really bad movie and it's almost impossible to watch to the end. Uh, so then that's number one. RAPD you know, this is a this is a hundred and fifty million dollar budget. It's got Jeff Bridges in it. Jeff Bridges usually can do no wrong. It's a Men in Black uh, ripoff, but it's not even not even remotely close as being Men in Black. Just watch the trailer, and that you'll see what you need to see. It's a disaster in the making. It's it's it could ruin Ryan Reynolds' career. That's how bad the movie is. So that's why it's number two because. I feel bad because I don't think anybody, especially these $100 million movies, are trying to make a really bad movie. It's just a poorly conceived movie in so many different ways. Uh, the Lone Ranger, the same as well. Listen, Gore Verbinski, the director, uh, Johnny Depp, both of those guys did the, the, the parts of the Caribbean movies. Those guys can basically buy an island of all the money they made of those part of these Caribbean movies. So you can shit on them all you want because Lone Ranger is just a bad, bad, bad idea. And it's a little bit racist, too. Like, you know, after um, we saw Mickey Rooney try to play an Asian guy back in uh, back in one of those movies back in the 60s, uh, Breakfast at Tiffany's, I think you shouldn't be playing the race that you're you're not really that you are in in such a blatant way it was extremely offensive in, in, a, in a lot of in the in the in the native american community so that's why it's the third mo worst movie of the year then you got after earth m night Shyamalan, will smith those guys made a lot of money too this movie is a complete bore fest it's it tries to have a good like like centered point to it but it doesn't um, it doesn't even have a Shyamalan. Uh, uh, doesn't even have, even have a Shyamalan um, twist at the end. Just a bad, bad, bad movie. So you can rip on that one as well. The list goes on and on. I, the worst comedy of the year is The Heat. I just think it's a disaster in the making, but it made a lot of money. So what do I know? Figure out the list if you want. But it, these are definitely the ten worst films of 2013. And there, there was a lot of them. But as I said, people are not trying to make bad films. But I can rip on the first four, especially because all those people who are who are who are part of those films are already millionaires themselves. And I don't know. They just need to come down to reality and and basically have like a little check uh, with themselves and say, okay, maybe I shouldn't be making these films anymore. So hopefully I'll make them better creators in the long run. That's my review.